Welcome back for the break. You're still watching TV Africa, the right to know talking matters business, Russia's attack on Ukraine and retaliatory sanctions from the West may not occur another global recession. Now the two countries together account for less than 2% of the world's gross pro domestic product and many regional economies remain in solid shape having rebounded swiftly from the pandemic recession. Russia is the world's third biggest producer of petroleum and is a major exporter of natural gas. Ukraine's farms feed millions around the world and financial markets are in a precarious spot as central banks prepare to reverse years of easy money policies and raise interest rates to fight a resurgency of inflation. Those higher rates will likely slow spending and raise the risk of another downturn. Elina Rybakova, Deputy Chief Economist at the Institute of International Finance, a trade group for banks say that she wouldn't be misled by just calculating GDP ratios, especially at a time when commodity prices are already high and deflation is already high. Russia's attack could slow Europe's economic recovery by sending already elevated energy prices ever higher. Europe, an energy importer, receives close to 40% of its natural gas from Russia. A cut-off of that energy source could undercut the continent's economy. High natural gas prices have already led to higher home utility bills for both natural gas heat and electricity generated from gas crimping consumer spending. Adam Toze, director of Columbia University's European Institute, whose 2018 history of the last decade's financial crisis crashed, explored tensions over Ukraine, say that gas prices in Europe are already crashing households and consumers, especially low-income households.